All right, so I'm back. Now I will see you guys in just a second, actually. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but back over here in the area where we were like dropped into. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I missed the wave beam, even though like that was what I was planning to get in the last episode. Speaking of the last episode, that went a little, way, a little bit too long. Anyway, we just got the wave beam. Seems it's, it's, it's kind of more of a bubble beam type thing. Does anybody else see that? No, probably not. I thought not. Okay, so do 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 do. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, this is episode 5. My name is Speedak Padieta, and welcome to my Metroid 2 The Return of Samus walkthrough. Okay, that's fine. I'll just keep going up. Ah, uh, that's not what I was going for. There we go. Kinda wish I could have at least broken one of those. Those are the high jump boots. This isn't allowed to jump way higher, as you can see, we just hit the ceiling. There's a little cool trick I, I haven't really shown yet. It's the floating technique. Well, it's not really a technique as much as it is just like something that I learned. I did not discover this by no means. Like, I think, okay. You can like hold up if you spin jump straight upward to float down. It's cool, right? That is cool, isn't it? We got another missile pod. Okay, don't respawn, don't respawn, don't respawn. Yes. Alright, some more missiles. Anyway. Yeah, I had to speed up that beginning part because I knew that would take away from valuable time. Oh, you have to like damage jump to get up there. Alright, hold on. This could take a couple years. Boom. Boom. Or just a couple minutes. Yeah, so I figured if things get like, if I get like too bored while playing this game, because this, this, this game does have a tendency to be a little like boring. Like, it's a great game, don't get me wrong. But sometimes it's not very fun. <laughs> I'm just make sure I got the. Uh... Okay, I got the missile pod over there. All right, that was awesome. Okay, so now we just got to get back to the top. Okay, if I really if I get too bored, I guess I can always just like. 
I don't know, do rap battle parody, cause... I, I do a pretty good impression of Super Hot Fire. Yeah, that's right. People have told me that, like, I should do impressions because I have a deep voice and there are lots of people that you can do good impressions of if you have a deep voice, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's how it works. Okay. Looks like we're done with this area. Well, this part of the area. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, going up. Alright, there you go. I feel like I did something wrong. I didn't do something wrong, did I? Very good, yeah, I thought not. I found it like an old man for a couple of seconds there. Okay, let's see. No, we're getting somewhere. Okay, that's... It does make it kind of easy to, like, beat enemies, like, when you're going down. Alright. Wow. I just can't get over how high that jump goes. It's Sami! Samus! Okay. Alright. So there are 30 Metroids left, and the final four are south. I should really stop saying south, because it's not south, it's just like this direction. That was not a missile po what am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, before when I said uh, missile pod, I was tr Like, back when we got that energy tank a couple minutes ago, and I said, um, let me just go and grab this missile pod really quick, I meant to say energy tank. And there's another Metroid through here. It's actually, uh, a new Metroid, which is pretty cool. Surviving! Alright. These Gamma Metroids take 10 hits. Or 10 missiles, that is. Don't try to use your beam, because beams don't affect Metroids. Uh, I did much better on that than I did on my first time fighting a Gamma Metroid. Alright, anyway. So, for those of you that don't know, um... Before I finish the walkthrough, I'm gonna go into like the walkthrough like playlist and put like a gigantic map at the beginning. So if you for some somehow like get lost and you can't find your way back, the map will be there to help you out. And uh okay. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about future walkthroughs, and I was, I was really thinking for my second walkthrough that I would so totally do um, one of the uh, Code Lyoko games. But the only thing is, I looked at those because I'd never played the games before. And I was like, oh, it'll be fun and easy. But what I saw from those, like, from what I saw about those games, those games were apparently not very good. Which is sad, because Code Lyoko was, like, one of my favorite TV shows. It was French, I think. Is there even anything in here? Yes, there is! An energy refill! I needed that! I NEED THAT! Okay. I think... Wow, ten minutes? Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, sorry about the abrupt pause there. Anyway, let us continue forward. There's just one Metroid left.
eyes. You know, some people call these like just breakable walls, but I really think that they're eyes, because like, I don't know. I just think they are. Okay, it's just one alpha Metroid left, which is interesting. We're fighting all these... Like, we fought two Gamos already, and now... The next Metroid is another Alpha. Hmm. The Metroid should be right here next to its egg. What's going on? Or it's... Yeah, it's egg. Alright. Rumble, 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 Pokemon Rumble Blast! Okay. Alright, that is Earthquake number three, which should trigger the lava to go down once again. Which is funny, because there's actually an earthquake that doesn't make the lava go down, it actually makes the lava go up. It's like the ninth earthquake, I think. It's... it's weird. Hmm. Alright. Okay. So anyway. So I'm not really sure. Be sure to post in the comments what I should do for my second walkthrough, because one of the games that like the other game that I was planning to do, which I left a test video on my channel if any of you guys want to watch it, it was Pokemon Black and White. And the thing is, I so totally wanted to do a walkthrough of that, but it's just, there's so many bios to make for 150-something Pokemon. And then on top of that, it's such an o oh, that was bad, wasn't it? Can I, can, I de can I deal with that? Okay, that wasn't that bad. Alright. Anyway, as I was saying... It's such an overdone game that I really wouldn't want to do a walkthrough of it right now. And then, like, it, I think everyone's pretty much seen part of it. Oh, the green thing's on the screen, isn't it? Yeah, right there. Ignore that. <laughs> no, get off my screen. Move away. Okay. Sorry about that. So, wow, I guess no deaths in this part. That's awesome. Don't worry. Your video is not taking too long to load. I'm just creating a restore point. Alright. I guess I'll just take take you guys over to the lava and then I'll end off the video because we're coming pretty close to 15 minutes here is this supposed to be their idea of music? like don't get me wrong this game has great music and it is a very underrated game you know Metroid 2 and it is one of the most important games in the Metroid storyline but nobody seems to play the game. In all honesty, I searched for another walkthrough after I uploaded episode 1 to see if anybody else was really doing a walkthrough. Well, I mean, obviously... Okay, but... Honestly, I went and looked... And my walkthrough, with only, like, 7 views... On the first episode, at the end of that day, I looked... And it was like the tenth thing that came up. And there were only three other walkthroughs on the game that came up before mine. And they were all by the same person. Well, by three people, that is. 
But okay, yeah. I think that does it for this part. Um, I encourage those of you that plan to make walkthroughs to not give up, because I really would like to see more walkthroughs of this game. Because it is very underrated, and I think lots of people need to learn about it. Alright. I'm Speed Aquariette. This has been my Metroid 2, the Return of Samus walkthrough, and I will see you guys in the next one.